Hi, I'm Robert Scott and I'm at San Francisco Public Utilities Commission and I'm at the Wastewater Enterprise Collection Systems Division and I'm with the Division Manager Lewis Harrison and he's going to tell us about their Microsoft SharePoint tool. So Lewis, mm -hmm. why was this tool developed? Well, we developed this tool because as people were getting more digital in their documentation over time, um, we had to organize our files and our documentation. Um, in my business, record keeping is very, very important. From a legal standpoint, we keep our records indefinitely. And, uh, and, and I mean, we might have issues from 25 years ago that we have to produce documents. And as you can imagine, in those days, 25 years ago, you had, you had file clerks that knew where your files were. But now, because everyone is able to generate documents right off their desktops and uh, do a lot of that work themselves, we had to start coming up with an organized way to keep our records and documents straight. So we, we implemented the SharePoint as the tool for that. Okay, okay. Sounds good. Um, so. How have you guys used the tool? Well, it's been, for from an enforcement point of view, it's been a way to organize all related documents when we're doing enforcement activities into single file sets instead of having them in multiple locations. Okay. Uh, from, a, in, in my division, I should mention, we have the pretreatment program, which does enforcement and we have our sewer operations division which does all the maintenance and asset management of our sewer system. Okay. So records of activities uh, in terms of uh, from, from uh, cleaning inspection the sewer to enforcing against an illegal discharge okay. are very important to, to keep organized. So the way what we've done is created uh, I think in a pretty innovative way uh, a shared file system where everyone knows where files are versus just in the old days maybe the file clerk okay. knew where those things are okay so and and the way we've gone about that has been a long road <laughs> with many lessons learned yeah uh, but uh, it's very effective very easy to use tool I believe now that we've got over the learning curve okay. Now, so. okay so you're using it um, to keep track or, or keep records of the maintenance work you, you've done, the repair work or any type of work that's being done, as well as the, uh, the request that, that you get or the issues that you have to deal with uh, related to the, uh, the pipelines or the collection system. Exactly. And I could give you an example that, for, just look at construction of a new sewer line, for example, that once you have excavated that trench and you have an open trench and you put that pipe in the ground mm -hmm. and now bury it and put a new roadway on top of it, mm -hmm. it's very important to have a record of how that thing was installed. Yes. And so we have, by using this SharePoint system, we've created a way that those records which might have formerly been part of a construction contract and handled somewhere else where you never see it, uh, the innovation with SharePoint is that we're saying all those processes that relate to our asset management have a final resting place in terms of records in the system. Mm -hmm. So I can go back and look at the actual construction documents if I have a question as to if there's a utility conflict underground mm -hmm. or some question of whether the thing was installed correctly. Mm -hmm. We can basically at our fingertips with a, you know, with a mouse mm -hmm. get right to that information mm -hmm. and find out every pertinent bit of information about that asset mm -hmm. even if it was constructed years ago. Okay. Uh, in this case we're only we're in our fifth year of SharePoint implementation mm -hmm. and so we have um, you know five years of excellent records and then the years before that legacy documents a okay. little bit harder to get okay. but they are also in SharePoint as well. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, you've told told us about some of the benefits you've gained. Uh, any other benefits from using this that you can kind of speak about? Well, one of the benefits that I don't think people really uh, value as much is that when you start working with a team of people to say, okay, we're going to sh uh, share these records, but we want to have a common system where everybody thinks in terms of yeah. where those records are in the same yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Like I was using as an example before, when you had file clerks or uh, administrative people 
that you only need to worry if they knew where your records are because you would go to them yeah. and they would know, even if it was a strange system, yeah. they would know where your records are. Yes. But now because you can create records all over the organization, we have to have essentially a classification system yes. that makes it easier for us to get close to where those records must be knowing yeah. what the, the classifications are, the categories. Yes. And we were calling that taxonomy, meaning how would we organize our records in such a way that once you knew the basic file structure, you wouldn't have to memorize 500 different types of things. Yeah. You have a very simple uh, uh, sort of structure. Yeah. And actually, uh, we have it on the screen here. Uh, you might not be able to read it, but in our this is the uh, start page on the SharePoint okay. uh, for our system, for Collection System Division. And you can see that on the quick launch on the left here, we have things divided into competence, training, and awareness, duties and responsibilities, operational control, project management. And so then you know that if this is a project, they would be in these files. Yeah. If it's a roles and responsibilities issue, it's in these files. And yeah. once you get there, there's subdivisions there, but at least it gives you the concept of yeah. where should you be to yeah. start with this. And that that has been kind of the thing that was most interesting is you realize starting this out that we all don't think the same way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's like it's kind of a surprise that you know, and so and nor do people want to think the same. Yeah, way, yeah, you know, yeah, and they don't yeah, tell me yeah. how to think. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Uh, so we didn't want to make it, you know, like a draconian thing where you must do it this way. So uh -huh. we had a quite an extensive stakeholder process of just first agreeing yeah what's our system of thinking yes. you know yes. and so yeah. that's a side of it that I, I have found really interesting and I think now that we're fully using it people can appreciate that energy we put into making sure everybody was on the same page yeah. has paid off yeah yeah that's great that's great um, is it uh, is it easy to navigate it's very easy to navigate and I mean um, easy for us, okay. you know. <laughs> okay. And um, easy when I say us, meaning our organization, wastewater organization, has many divisions of which we're the collection system, and we are working in unison with the whole organization to have similar structure so that we don't have people in the maintenance division doing an entirely different system than we're doing. So we piloted this and, and have been. Uh, working with the other units as, as they've implemented it mm -hmm. so that they can navigate as easily as we can. Okay. One of the beauties of SharePoint, just the basic out-of-the-box capability, is that um, if you uh, put in the correct metadata about your document, and metadata is data about data, right? Mm -hmm. It's like what is the key bits of information about this file you're going to put in here. Um, and that is the key to this whole thing working. If you know uh, from a, for, for the purposes of searching and finding it later, what key words you might want to say about this document when you save it, then navigating to, back to your document, which is what the big fear most people have is, uh -huh. how am I ever going to find this thing yeah. once it's scanned into yeah. this? Yeah. Um, that metadata aspect is part of this training that mm -hmm. we do, is how mm -hmm. do you uh, make sure you're using the correct words mm -hmm. uh, to put the document where people can navigate to. Mm -hmm. So it's also powerful that even if you didn't do that, if you put the wrong metadata in, it's powerful enough that the system will scan the actual content of the document that's in your in SharePoint. Okay. So the document itself can be searched for keywords and so when you're looking for something, it'll look for the metadata, mm -hmm. but it also will do a full content search and you might, if you were wrong about your metadata, you'll still wind up finding that document. Okay. So it's, it's, it's easy to navigate. I will say that no one would have agreed with me about that in the first two or three months. Okay, okay. Uh, it's, it's one of those things like anything, it's a bit, you, you first have to uh, figure out how the system's set up because it almost seems so wide open and boundless. Yeah that yeah. you don't know how this could possibly work because right. people want a system. They right. want this to this, you know. Right. And so the fact that there wasn't a lot of that strict definition at the yeah. beginning made yeah. people a little uncomfortable. Yeah. You go to a filing cabinet, you could, there's one cabinet, three yeah. drawers, yeah. A, to B, a to Z, yeah. you know, and you can, but SharePoint doesn't feel like that at first. It's okay. like, what do you want to do? Uh -huh. <laughs> you yeah. know, it's yeah. wide yeah. open. Yeah. You know? 
Well, you you saying that I, the thought that came to my mind was there are some songs that I that I heard for the first time I didn't like. Yeah. And then after hearing it, you know, X amount of times on the radio, all of a sudden I I started liking it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Or or it's popular, and in my case, my son liked the music, and then I didn't like it until ten years later. You know, <laughs> okay. like, you know that kind okay. of thing. You know? Okay. Yeah. So are there any? Uh, any suggestions you'll have for anyone who might be interested in using this tool? Well, it, it, the key, I think, to, to our success in using this was that we did involve people uh -huh. from every level of the organization as, you know, for their input mm -hmm. um, as to how this thing should be, un how it should unfold. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't do that, it's it's like you get a twofold problem. One, it's learning the software itself, mm -hmm. but then learning the system you're trying to standardize on. Like, what's our system of classification? Mm -hmm. So, by standard by stakeholder using a stakeholder process for the system of classification, everybody's on the same page about where they're trying to go, and now they just need to learn how to get the application mm -hmm. to match that. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that's really interesting um, is that. In our business, many records can be used in evidence. We get uh, uh, requests uh, request for files, uh, for lawsuits and other things that are really old, especially environmental related issues. Uh, that in the California rules, rules of evidence, you can use a digital record as original uh, as long as you state that that digital record is the original. But okay. you can't keep okay. the original also. So oh, then really? you can't do both oh. because now you're saying which is your original, the original hard copy in your file or, 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 or the okay. digital. Okay. So that led to a, having a problem where records that some people thought were very precious and they couldn't stand the idea of destroying those records, yeah. Yeah. we had to get over this sort of comfort zone people yeah. had with always, so they're scanning everything to the system, yeah. but they're also keeping the banker boxes, okay. Okay. you know, and okay. then so if we are asked for records, the lawyers will ask you for those banker boxes and this, you know, so it like creates yeah. a whole other, yeah. Uh, yeah. and who knows, maybe they're not exactly the right, same right, kind of right, thing. Right, right, right. So um, there is that um, hump you got to get over with people that have been very comfortable with paper files. Yeah. Go, having them go into the virtual world like this, yeah. the fear of not being able to find it uh, leads people to do things like hide their originals okay. <laughs> you know, okay. so, okay. and so uh, that's a that's a thing that anybody who's going into this needs to know that um, you're going to be shredding document recycling documents as part of this and they are going to be recoverable mm -hmm. uh, but you got to let go yeah. you know yeah. you got to go paperless yeah. that's that's yeah, that's the yeah. that's the way it's got to be. Yeah. You know, it's better for better for the environment as well. It is. Yeah, and that's the other funny thing is that <clears throat> sometimes you think uh, you need to print something out, but we're so digital now with email and everything else, yeah. we can create the thing digitally. Yeah, send it to the party that needs to see it digitally. They can answer digitally. It never needs to be paper. Yeah, right. and yet there were people early on in this still printing the document out, and then scanning it back to the system you know that, that kind of thing <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. there's things you learn yeah. but it but it's a it's about you know going paperless really. okay okay well great um sounds great sounds like it's been a great benefit for you guys it really has okay. it really has oh. well good well there it is uh microsoft sharepoint again i'm here at san francisco public utilities commission at the Waste Water Enterprise Collection System Division and I'm with Lewis Harrison, the Division Manager. I think this is a tool that you would probably want to check out.